All right, fam, we back out here live today. So my name is Marshawn Olanio. I'm your life and relationship strategist. Today, I want to talk to you guys about your baggage and how it is affecting your relationship. Don't believe me? Trust me, your baggage is affecting your relationship. Think about the times when you're just sitting there thinking and, you start, and your mind starts to take you under. What do I mean by taking you under? Your mind starts to take you under in the sense that you're starting to wonder what is actually going on with your partner. What is actually going on with your spouse? How are they doing or what are they doing in this particular moment, especially when they are not in your face? What are they doing in this particular moment? And your baggage starts to creep in, your thought process starts to weigh you down, and you start to think, you know what, what is actually going on? Why am I feeling this way? Why am I reacting this way? Why am I responding this way? Why am I feeling this way? What are some of the things that are actually holding you back and holding you down see let me talk about me i remember when i was in my first marriage and a lot of you guys know that this is my second marriage i talk about it on purpose because i figure you know some of you are probably out there like why would i take dating advice from somebody who's been married the second time you should take dating advice for somebody that's been married the second time around because i have experienced things I am able to showcase and tell you things that actually happened in my life and I'm able to say you know what I did not have the information I did not have the strategies I did not have the tips I did not know what I was doing the first time around and guess what I took the time I took the energy I took everything that I needed to to figure this thing out because I knew me I knew that I am a good person in and out and I wanted to showcase that and be able to deliver that to my spouse and I obviously wasn't doing that the first time around all of us have to take responsibility for what we are doing and where we are at in our relationship and my relationship did work out because I just didn't know I am taking responsibility do I wanted to did I ever want to or do anybody ever want to say you know what today I'm actually gonna go out there and mess up my relationship and yeah I'm gonna get a divorce no, no, most of us don't do that. Most of us do not do that. So because we don't do that, I am saying, you know what? I'm taking responsibility for what I did not do, what I did not know, and how I showed up in my first marriage. And that's okay. So that's why you should take dating advice from somebody who's been married. This is her second marriage. Um, with that, in my first marriage, part of my baggage that I was bringing into that relationship was the fact that all of this chocolate skin, all is chocolate skin. I did not love the skin that I was in. I would sit there and think, or anytime we passed somebody that had lighter skin, um, it was all I was always trying to like check him out to see was he checking her out, and just just stupid things. And guess what? The stupid things started to weigh on my mind. It started to make me start watching my ex husband, and just like, what is he doing? Well, who is he texting? Who is he talking to? Why is he talking to her so long? Does he like her? I mean, is her butt bigger? Like all of this, all of, all this junk that I talk about, all this junk was in my head and I was taking it into my relationship all because I didn't love the skin that I was in. And then I would like um, just think of different ways to always have to show up. I would always try to make sure that I was presentable, right? So even in his presence, I wouldn't wear pajamas a whole lot because I wanted him to know that, you know, he's around his sexy wife or whatever. And not to say that that's a bad thing, but I was not showcasing the real me all because I didn't like the skin that I was in. It had nothing to do with him. And this is the baggage that you could be bringing into your relationship. Not necessarily the, the, the skin baggage stuff, but whatever baggage that you are bringing into your relationship sis whatever baggage that you are bringing into your relationship bro you got to start to get rid of that stuff because your relationship is becoming super toxic because of the stuff that you are bringing into your relationship you don't even realize that you are um the reason why your relationship is going downhill you don't realize it because this is all the stuff that's working up in here. And because you're holding all of this stuff in, you're not verbalizing anything that you need to say to your spouse. You think you think that your spouse is a mind reader, which is what I was doing. I thought that my spouse was a mind reader. Even though he knew that I had um, a low self-esteem about my um, skin, he knew that. But still, for me, it was a me issue. Because obviously, he didn't have a problem with it because we got married. He was a part of literally he was the start in the transformation of me accepting me and me loving me all of me now i don't have a problem 
Now, with my current husband, I showcase the real me. There are no issues with my chocolate skin, but I have to come here and be real with you and talk to you about it, just in case, what are you dealing with? What baggage are you bringing to your relationship? What insecurities have you not dealt with in your own relationship? Because all of us have insecurities, and it's okay if you just verbalize them and actively deal with them, because once you start to hold all of this stuff in and not talk about them, guess what, sis? Guess what, bruh? It starts to play on your mind and then you start to think of all of these things that your spouse may not be doing sure some of the things it could be doing or she could be doing but most of the time all of this stuff all of this stuff is our stuff and we're passing it along we're putting it on our spouse instead of taking responsibility for how we're showing up and the things that are making us insecure in our own relationships and then on top of that doing something about it so because I knew that I had low self-esteem about my skin back in the day I had to say you know what God this is the skin that you gave me in all of its glory and there is nothing I can do about it and at one point I was trying the bleaching creams but not because I wanted to lighten up everything I was trying it initially I was trying it because I had the blemishes right the darker blemishes and I just want an even skin tone but when I noticed that when I was using the bleaching cream it started to brighten up my entire skin my entire face and so for a while I was using it using it using it. I'm getting lighter but I'm noticing all down here and here I'm not matching and I was just like you know what ain't nothing you can do about this chocolate skin nothing Marshawn there is nothing you can do about your chocolate skin you have to appreciate and love and accept and adore your chocolate skin and once you do that your spouse will do that too and again my ex was already doing it it was a me issue it was totally a me issue and I knew that it was a me issue so I had to get a handle on what I was doing in my own relationship and the toxicness that I was bringing to our relationship I'm okay now so I'm wondering what is it that you need to work on in your relationship? What baggage is holding you down in your own relationship? How is your baggage becoming um, toxic to your relationship? Are you constantly sitting there just thinking about the shoulda, woulda, coulda? If, if you're, is your spouse doing X, Y, and Z all because of your baggage? Not, not thinking that, okay, it could be happening because it could be happening. No, I'm seriously talking about the things that are messing you up and um, subconsciously messing up your relationship because you have not taken care of the baggage. The baggage that you keep taking from one relationship to the next relationship. The things, the, this is how you know the baggage that I'm talking about. This baggage that I'm speaking about is specifically each relationship you get into is the same thing. You keep bringing up the same thing. The same thing is actually destroying your relationship or in your current relationship, your current marriage, your current long-term relationship, that same conversation keeps happening over and over and over and over again. Guess what, sis? Guess what, bro? You need to get to the root cause of why this conversation keeps coming up. Why you are bringing this toxicity into your relationship because you are causing it. At least partially. But today we're taking responsibility. So today you're causing it. And it's okay. Figure out what it is and then write it out. Why is this an issue for you? Why does this have a stronghold on you and on your mind? Why is your mind continuously playing tricks on you? Have you not accepted all of you? Do you not love all of you? Because if you do not love all of you, and seriously, this is a cliche, but it's totally true. If you don't love all of you, why would your spouse love all of you? How could they? How could they love all of you when you don't love all of you? Figure out your baggage. Write it down. Figure out how you're showing up each time this trigger happens. And then figure out another way that you're going to change the situation around so your relationship can get so much better. All right? Figure it out. It's all up to you.